Good day, everyone. Hope you're doing well here on this asynchronous day. Hope you had a restful weekend, that three-day weekend um, for you. All right, so to get started, we're going to go in where we see our normal weekly learning, and we're going to choose today, which is going to be March 9th. Um, I know that not everything's published right now, which is why you see it as my screen. Don't worry. I just have a few of you that really like to jump ahead of the game, and I want to explain first. So we are doing um, a little wrap-up on quadratic expressions, making sure that everything is done and tied up with a bow. So I want to make sure that we understand how graph tables and equations um, represent the same quadratic function and how they're related. And I want you to be able to explain how quadratic equations and its graph relate to a situation. So first things first, though, make sure you have all of these done. Um, many of you do. Um, if you'd like to improve your score, you, may, you are allowed to take it more than once. Um, those are all linked here, as well as in that first screen in that weekly learning. Those should be listed for you. So please, please, please make sure those are done. I will be checking them um, for grades this week and interim start are closed on Friday. Here, I will have this video, so inception moment, but what I would like for you to work on today is putting this all together yourself. So we have a holistic assessment here where you are going to look at this scenario. I will read it to you now and I would like for you to notice a few things and then the questions will be below and I would like for you to answer them and turn them in. So our situation, an arrow, sh a uh, oops, let me start again. An archer shoots an arrow. The arrow's height above ground. Sometimes I mess up when I'm reading. Let's try this again. An archer shoots an arrow. So that's the action verb. That's what's happening here. This guy is shooting an arrow. The arrow's height above level ground in feet is modeled by the equation. H of t equals parentheses 1 plus 2t, close parentheses, open parentheses, 18 minus 8t and also represented by the graph and table. The time t is measured in seconds. So this equation here matches this graph here, matches this table here. All of these are showing equivalent representations of this expression. The first thing I would like you to do is to change this factored form into standard form. So we have it in factored form up here. Um, maybe you can't see my mouse, so I will show you here. Um, we have our factored form here. This is what I'm talking about. So if you're watching this video, you can see, okay, got it. Don't want to do that, but I'm just showing you here. Um, that is our factored form. What would the equation look like in standard form? Show your work and you may use the box below if it helps. So here's this box that I set up for you. You may do it this way. You may use um, binomial multiplication, whatever it may be, but I want it in the end to be in that ax squared plus bx plus c form. Next, you'll work through number two. At what time will the arrow be at its maximum? How high is it? How did you determine your answer? You may do this however you may like, um, whether you're using the equation, whether you're using the graph, whether you're using the table. My only request here is that you explain yourself. Um, if you need to do it in your language, that is fine. Um, I would rather you get the explanation out than worry about how well you do it in English. Um, I will do some translation, and yes, it'll be on Google Translate probably, so bear with us, but we're working together. Finally, we have our last question here. The graph and table tell us that H at 2.25 equals zero. What does this mean in this context? Where is the arrow, and how do you know? So 
those are the three questions that we want you to answer today. And yes, that is all I'm looking for you to do right now because it is important that you understand this and that you can explain yourself. So please take your time, um, translate whatever you need to do, and we can, as long as you understand the math, I will be very happy. Please make sure that you submit and turn in. I know here it says save for me, but there should be a submit button for you, and it will turn it into me so that I can grade it for you. All right, so you are responsible for this assignment, and you should have already completed these three assignments. Please email me with any questions. I'm happy to answer, and I will see you all on Thursday. Have and some of you on Friday. Have a great day.